The third eye chakra is the sixth of the seven main chakras. It is located between the two eyebrows. The color of this chakra, also called Ajna chakra, is indigo blue and its element is light. The third eye chakra is about intuition and wisdom. This chakra provides the energy flow in the subtle body, just as the pituitary gland monitors and manages the release of hormones in the body. It supports the clairvoyance and wisdom necessary to understand existence beyond time and space. The good work of the third eye chakra helps one to see life as a whole with ease. In this way, it becomes easier to stay connected with the spiritual and physical world. In addition, predicting and making the right decisions are also related to this chakra. Signs that the third eye chakra is underactive include forgetfulness, feeling disconnected from intuition, confusion about the purpose of life, weakened ties with nature, inability to form strong bonds with people, constantly judgmental attitudes, insomnia, unexplained feelings of depression or anxiety, weakened imagination, no dreams about life, difficulty remembering dreams. What can be done to activate the third eye chakra? Open yourself to new information, trying to go beyond what you know, and adding new information to your life will also support the third eye chakra. Because the third eye chakra is associated with knowledge and wisdom, it will be very useful to read and gain knowledge on subjects that are not your field, that are difficult for you, or that are different. When choosing a book to read or a movie to watch, you can pay attention to the fact that it adds new information to you. Every new thing you learn will increase your mental capacity. You can focus on subjects that will strain your mind rather than trying to acquire ordinary information, thinking about subjects that you know very well before. Try to notice your emotions. How aware are you of how you truly feel? Do you react automatically or are copied from somewhere? Or do you act entirely on your feelings? Being aware of how you feel in the face of events also makes it easier for you to predict later situations. You become aware of what you want and you anticipate events. However, if your feelings are complicated and your feelings contain many different voices, it will be difficult to find your way and know what you want. So in any case, listen to your feelings. In cases where you are not sure, who does this feeling belong to, you can ask. You can write to understand these feelings better. Keep a dream journal. Dreams are messengers for us in every sense. They serve as a mirror of situations and feelings that we do not notice. Writing down the dreams we see every day helps us to perceive the messages better. When we make this situation permanent, we begin to make connections between events and feelings. This means keeping the spiritual and physical worlds connected. Therefore, writing down dreams in a dream diary rather than telling them to someone will be enlightening in many ways and will make future dreams easier to remember. Try to perceive life as a whole. The third eye chakra is associated with unity consciousness, constantly decomposing, Trying to perceive life in small parts rather than as a whole will reduce the activation of this chakra. A non-holistic perception will also make it difficult to make the right decision. It will cause a limited perspective, such as perceiving everything as only good or only bad. Instead, perceiving life as it is, as a whole, means looking from a higher consciousness. In this way, it will be possible to stay in balance in the face of situations and events. Take the time to sit in silence. Being alone in a quiet and dark environment makes it easier to hear your inner voice. Take time to get rid of all external influences and be alone with yourself. Just sit in a suitable environment. Let the feelings, visions, and thoughts come and go. Don't try to control anything. Let it all flow away slowly. After a while, these will start to bother you. You will stop applying resistance and trying to control it. 
Thus, it will be easier for you to distinguish your feelings and thoughts. It will be very beneficial if you practice sitting silently for even 10 minutes a day. Nurture your creativity The more you nurture your creativity, the more you activate the third eye chakra. It will be very useful to come up with new ideas, paint, sing, write something. It will not be possible to progress by repeating the same things and staying constant. Therefore, it is very important to be open to different ideas and to get out of your comfort zone. If you want your creativity to emerge, you must try to see beyond the point you are at. Imagine. Although dreaming may seem like an insignificant habit, it is one of the greatest helpers to shape life. For the activation of the third eye chakra, it is very useful to dream and imagine the desired events. This does not mean that you have to get carried away with dreams and completely withdraw from the physical world. However, it is very effective to dream to take new steps and have a broad vision. Often imagine what kind of life you want. Realize the dreams that excite and make you happy. When you repeat this often, you will discover dreams that you have gathered from others and that do not belong to you. Beyond that, fear, anxiety, boundaries, and patterns that prevent you from achieving your dreams will also begin to appear. Utilize crystals. Crystals are also very effective for this chakra. You can use it as jewelry or an object, or you can use it between your two eyebrows. In this way, it will be easier for the healing of the crystals to flow. You can choose amethyst for peace, spirituality, and wisdom. Lapis lazuli for clairvoyance and awareness. Labradorite for inner strength. Sodalite to deepen. And azurite to see things. Use essential oils. Essential oils that you will use in your bathroom or sensor will be very effective for the third eye chakra. For this chakra, you can choose oils such as lemon oil, chamomile oil, lavender oil, and pine oil. These oils will be very useful for revitalization, calmness, and focus. Consume foods to support the third eye chakra. Consuming drinks and foods in natural blue and purple hues can help support the flow of positive energy from the third eye chakra. You can add foods such as currants, blueberries, blackberries, prunes, and beets to your diet. Get support from affirmations. As with any chakra, affirmations are very helpful in the third eye chakra. After focusing on your third eye chakra, you can repeat the following affirmations. I am wise, intuitive, and dependent on my inner guidance. I trust my intuition. I am connected to the wisdom of the universe. It comes naturally to me to see and understand the big picture. My life is effortlessly moving toward my purpose. My imagination is alive and strong. My mind is strong, clear, and clear. In any case, I choose truth and originality. I have a bright, bold, and creative mind. The answers I seek are always within me. I surrender control and let the loving presence of the universe guide me. A practical study for the third eye chakra. After cleansing your room with sage, drip lavender oil into your sensor. Then sit cross-legged. Keep your hands at chest level slightly away from you. Interlock all your fingers. With your middle fingers pointing outward, connect the fingertips of your thumbs and curl your other fingers inward. You can think of it like making a heart shape with your middle fingers meeting up. Close your eyes and focus between your eyebrows. Visualize this spot being washed and purified by a bright indigo blue light. Notice that your chakra is cleared by the flow of indigo blue lights. Keep practicing until you feel comfortable. When the work is finished, you can tap between your two eyebrows with your fingertips and put the crystals at this point. You can also repeat affirmations that are appropriate for the third eye chakra. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.